Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, today we're going to look at the video module. Let's just refresh this page. And we're going to show you how to get a video to auto play, have it muted, have it looped. As you can see, this one's playing here. It's muted and it's looped. The controls are not there on this one. It's just going to play, but you can stop it, obviously, by clicking on it and pausing it. Next door, we've got another video module. We've got an image overlay on that one. We've got it popping out into a light box. So if you hit the little play icon, it'll pop out into the light box. You can just hit play to make it play. Awesome little things to have on your site. Really easy to do. No coding involved in this today at all. So let's get started. I've got this page open with Elementor over here. If not, just hit your edit with Elementor button at the top. I'm going to delete this one. And we'll delete this one. We'll start from scratch. OK, if we look over here at our little matrix, we've got a video widget right there. I'm going to left click, drag it to where I want to put it in this little column right here and release it. And there it is, put in a little placeholder for us. We need to go over to YouTube and get the URL for a video. I've already got one saved in my clipboard here. I'm just going to paste that in there. And it's going to put in my yesterday's video that we got on YouTube there. Great. And if you want to down here, you can select a start time and an end time. If you only want it to loop a certain section of your video, really useful. This one, I'm just going to let it play. Down below, we've got some awesome options here that you don't get with a lot of players. To achieve this with a lot of other players, you have to use an embed code and write the code yourself. If you want it to auto play, just hit that, switch it to yes. As you can see, it's starting to auto play. It's also got sound there. Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. I don't like auto play videos to have sound, so I'm gonna to choose to mute it using a mute switch right here. That's better. Of course, they've got a volume control there. If they want the volume, they can pop it up like that. If you want it to play on mobile, hit this. Bear in mind, though, some mobile devices will block autoplay content by default. But if you want to try it, that's fine. If it's a very short video, I don't know, this one's quite long. It's Oh, God, it's very long. It's almost half an hour. If you want it to loop, you can do so by flipping the loop to on then when once it's finished it'll go back to the start and start all over again if you want to hide the player controls themselves we've got the player controls down the bottom here by default it's set to show but you can turn those off bear in mind though that they'll only be able to pause it and start it they won't be able to turn the volume up on it if you hide those I'm gonna leave those on show Modest branding, if you take that to yes, it's supposed to take away YouTube branding. I don't think this is actually working, but I believe that's what it's there for. I think that's in beta mode at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. If you want privacy mode turned on, you can click here and it won't store any information about the visitors on your website. Now down below, we've got lazy load and that's a great idea to have on. When you put videos on your website, you want to bear in mind they do take up quite a lot of your server resources. So I know I've got mine at the top of the page. If you can, have them below the fold. And for anybody that doesn't know what the fold means, it's when a website loads, anything you see at first is called above the fold. Anything that's down below the bottom of the screen there is below the fold. So if you can put your videos below the fold and enable lazy loading, and that'll make your pages load a lot faster for this example it's not going to make a whole lot of difference i wouldn't have thought now you do have the option up here you can load a vimeo video daily motion video press or self host hosted which would be an mp4 that you download and we've done videos on those before i'll show you some great places to download mp4s when we do that great so i'm happy with that one let's go back and i'll show you how to overlay an image and pop it out into a light box. So again, let's grab a video. We'll drop it next door. Again, I'm going to put in that same video URL. 
this time I'm going to leave these all on their defaults. I don't want it to auto play, mute, loop, or any of the controls right there. I'm going to roll down to image overlay. I'm going to switch it from hide to show. Then we can choose an image that we want to showcase our video with. Just grab an image. I think I used that one last time. Whatever image you want. And it'll put that image over the top. And you can choose the icon that you want and make it bigger and smaller down here. There's the default right there. You can upload an S SVG if you want to. Or if you just want to change the icon from the icon library, click on the little star there. It'll take you there. It's already got them filtered into the play icons, but you can choose any icon you want. Let's switch it to this one perhaps. And we'll insert it. It's just got that little play, card, play icon there. Now you can leave it like that and when you click on it it'll start to play which is fine and then when you click on it again obviously it's going to stop but I kind of like to have it pop out into a light box so they've got a big full screen version of it you can do that just below here with a little light box switch so now when we click on it it pops out into a large version and you can just click on play to play whatever color you want like in a value when you're done, hit the little X, it'll go back to how it was. One thing you want to bear in mind, let's just get back into this video module. If you enable an image overlay and look back at the video, there's no autoplay option there. So you can't autoplay if you've got it with the image overlay and a light box. Just one thing to bear in mind. Well, let's make sure this is all going to work. I'm going to save my draft here or publish if you're ready. Let's go down and preview the changes and here we are on the front end as you can see that video is auto playing with mute and it's got the controls when we hover over there and our one on the right here again if I just click on the little play button or actually anywhere on the video it's going to pop out into this light box and we can hit play and it's going to continue playing for where I was just now and we'll put it back to where it was, which was on normal. As I say, great little features to ha have on your site. Really easy to incorporate, as you can see. So I hope you've enjoyed this today. This has been another video in our series of Elementor for Beginners, and you can find that playlist down below the video here. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Don't forget, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Or make a little demo video like this one. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.